All right, for this one, we've been told the axis of symmetry is x equals negative a half, a y-intercept of, ooh, I think this is supposed to be a y-intercept of negative six, actually. So let me just fix this. Okay, and x equals a half, so draw the axis of symmetry. Here is my negative half. There's my axis of symmetry. Oops. Goodness. Okay, axis of symmetry continuing down. So if I know that I have this point here, I must have another negative six over here. Intersects the x-axis at two zero. So here's one root following that same distance of two and a half spaces over, I get the other root because I know that it's symmetric. Okay, using all of this, uh, the second point M must be over here. Here is point N. Find the values of B and C. Well, I know that I'm gonna have my root form, A, X minus M times X minus N for my formula. I've got my m value is negative three, so minus negative three makes plus three, and then I have x minus two. I know that I go through the point zero, negative six. Uh, go through, through zero, negative six, so I can use that. The y value is negative six when my x value is zero. All right, zero plus three is three, zero minus two is negative two. So three times negative two is negative six. That must mean my a value is one. So now my equation is just gonna be x plus three times x minus two if I multiply this out, I get x squared plus x minus six as my equation. That tells me that my b value is one, my c value is negative six. I know that my axis of symmetry down here is when x is negative a half. So when x is negative a half, my y value is going to be one times negative a half plus three times negative a half minus two. That is going to give me, so I have negative a half plus three times, oops, I missed my three, plus three, and then times negative a half minus two. That's gonna give me my y value, negative 6.25. I knew it had to be below negative six, so negative 6.25 is gonna be around there, which lets me draw in my parabola, trying to get it as smooth as I can.